Dubai has plans to reinvent the healthcare industry with an amazing new mega project. Fused with cutting edge technology and sustainable design principles, Dubai's next innovation will be the first of its kind in the world. Instead of going to a hospital in the city, imagine receiving treatment at a luxurious medical oasis in the middle of the sea, with 360 degree views of the ocean and Dubai's iconic skyline. The UAE is embarking on a new venture to build the world's most luxurious and advanced healthcare island in Dubai which will also serve as a city on its own. From flying ambulances to underwater monorails, to walking paths in the sky, this healthcare city will have everything that today's hospital complexes, let alone cities, don't usually have. Join us today as we explore this latest addition to Dubai's growing list of mega projects. Before we begin don't forget to click on that subscribe button and leave a comment as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. It has been a couple of years since Dubai's government announced its new policies for future development and among these policies are plans to extend shorelines and find other sources of income to rely on for economic growth instead of oil. Within this context, several designers and architects have been inspired to come up with architectural and creative answers to support these policies. In order to look at the future and create a multifunctional complex focused on high-quality medical services, an architectural firm called Calbut Studio has envisioned a luxurious healthcare island in Dubai. Known as Ring Island, this healthcare island is a city on its own, and it looks futuristic and promising. It is set to become the first medical tourist destination in the Middle East and the largest medical tourism center in the world. The main idea for this grand project is to acknowledge and meet the future needs and dreams of both tourists and residents in Dubai and provide a place to drastically improve tourist investment in the city for the next 20 years. As seen in digital renderings, the healthcare island will be located in the vicinity of the Burj Al Arab Hotel and right next to Palm Jumeirah, the tree-shaped island known for its glitzy hotels, posh apartment towers and upmarket global restaurants. The concept behind the creation of the Ring Island is centered on versatility in providing medical services to everybody. This artificial island will be equipped with the best international doctors and experts for people worldwide. The site will be divided into five layers to function as a self-contained complex with its own underwater transportation system, green-lined residences for patients seeking treatment, and educational and development facilities. It is important to keep in mind that this project is still only a proposal for Dubai, and if approved, this island will likely be completed in 2050. According to Calbut Studio Architects, one of the main challenges of this project was finding a balance between the parametric designs of Islamic architecture and the futuristic approach. Keeping in mind the region's rich traditional architectural elements, Dubai's healthcare city has been designed to floor on the Persian Gulf without overshadowing its existing landmarks such as the Burj Al Arab and Palm Jumeirah Island. The healthcare island is designed in a crescent shape symbolizing Dubai's regional architecture, the geometry of Burj Al Arab, and Islamic elements such as the lunar month. The center of the island will be marked by a coarse skyscraper that stands out from the rest of the buildings. At the top of the skyscraper is a huge spherical adornment which lights up as a globe and spins at night time. The terraces and roofs of the island buildings are covered with different plants, improving air quality and providing a green and shaded view throughout the day, a crucial innovation in design given Dubai's hot and humid climate. All stages of design have considered a combination of a digital approach, sustainable architecture, regional geographic and social conditions, as well as anticipating the future needs of Dubai. The island spans an area of 1 million square feet and consists of three different, yet connected zones. The first zone houses the educational and research zone which is located in the central main tower. The main area will also include an exhibition hall, research and development department, science and technology park, library, and exhibition of digital achievements. 
The second zone includes 14 different towers surrounding the main skyscraper, dedicated to the world-class medical services provided by the world's best doctors and professionals that will be gathered here. The third zone is the residential area which is made of 24 five-star hotels with panoramic views to both the city and the sea. The hotels are located on the two ends of the island to symmetrically frame the core skyscraper. The multifunctional approach of this project ensures that those who come for treatment will not need to stay in other Dubai hotels. The hotels designed in this complex will meet the highest standards and cater to tourists. All of this will be connected by five different layers of access routes. The first layer can be found underground and serves cars, pedestrians, parking, and green spaces. The second layer focuses on the futuristic approach of the design and is designed for predicted future transportation such as smart electric cars or robotic vehicles. Reaching the third level or the land level, the crescent-shaped site plan symbolizes the traditional Arabic architecture style and embraces the buildings, including the central tower, the 14 smaller towers and other smaller buildings supporting the island's residential needs. The last two upper levels consist of the parametrically designed suspended path providing exclusive access to the residential zones and the suspended sterile pathway that connects the medical towers. In the future, the residential towers are planned to turn into vertical forests to create a relaxing place for residents and visitors to enjoy. The island will have an advanced futuristic transportation system that includes several types of vehicles. A core highlight are the flying ambulances. The visuals released by Calbit Studio show several ambulances flying from Dubai's mainland to the healthcare island. They land on helipads on top of the skyscrapers in the island. From here onwards, several smart and small electric cars transport patients along the suspended pathways to their respective treatment centers. The advanced transportation system also features a conceptual underwater access route. This underwater infrastructure will include a monorail system that appears to be built inside a large transparent loop, just like Elon Musk's Hyperloop. The monorail will take visitors from one point to another, all while offering breathtaking views of marine life in the Persian Gulf. Different stations will also be designated at every part of the island for efficient movement. When the monorail ascends above the water, it will circle around the different buildings and pathways, providing quick access to every part of the island. Another layer of transportation will be underground and dedicated to roads, cars, shuttles, pedestrians, parking, and green spaces. This underground layer consists of the main entrance and it is the only access route for cars and public transportation. All vehicles entering this layer will be electric to maintain a 100% pollution-free and eco-friendly island. Despite having a cutting-edge transportation system, the island has a pedestrian-oriented approach. The suspended paths designed between different parts and buildings allow for walking on different levels providing unique views of Dubai and the Persian Gulf. Whether or not this proposal will come to life is yet to be seen, but we surely hope that this island will rise from the sea in the near future. It would be exciting to see how a mega project of this scale would benefit people and the economy and set a new benchmark in the healthcare industry. What are your ideas on this new island city? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.